Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Excel. In this module, I want to show you how you can use the group feature to create a spreadsheet where you can save different collapsed views. So on the screen, I have an example that I've already completed. This is a Newcastle example, and down below, I've got one for Sunderland, which I have not completed yet, which I will do in a minute. So basically, I'm using the group and outline feature, which allows you to click on these numbers to collapse this down to show you the totals, in this case, the count of students per building. So this is Newcastle, and there's two buildings, Ashley and Corpus, and there's three students in that one and four in that one, seven altogether. If I click on number one, it's just show me that Newcastle has a total of seven students. If I click on number three, it opens everything up so you can see all the detail and how I've laid this out. These little collapsible bars down the left hand margin will allow me to do it manually one at a time. So I can just collapse Ashley out of the way, looking at corpus, click on the minus there, doing the same on that one, click on the minus at the bottom, collapsing it all down. So that is exactly the same as using one, two or three across the top. So what I want to do on Sunderland is try and replicate the same thing. So first of all, I want to group bows. So I'm highlighting that space there, the whole row look. If you don't highlight the whole row, it will just basically, I'll show you, I'll just do this. Look, if I go for the group feature, which is on the data tab under outline group, comes up with this asking you, do you want to do the rows or whatever? So rather than getting this box, I'll just cancel it off. You just highlight the whole row to start off with. So outline group gives you one of those little collapsible bars. You can see it there. That just gives you the total for bows. Then you do the, the same thing for dent. Highlight the area that you want to collapse out of the way. Go over to outline, select group. And then you've got the two of them. So you can click, click on the minuses and down it goes like that. So that's exactly what I want. But what I haven't got is a group for the whole of Sunderland. So what I need to do now is highlight. And you've got to be careful. You, you, have, you need spare lines because if you highlight um, the same area as what you've already got grouped, it will just create one big group. And I don't want to do that. So that area there over to outline and group and that creates one at the top so i can click on that and then that collapses everything down so at the moment everything for both areas newcastle and sunderland is collapsed if i click on number two it opens them both up to the sort of subtotal area and number three will open the whole thing right up like so so now what you can do is you can save different views so you can quickly get back to this so, for example, if I collapse Newcastle down like that manually, so I don't want to click on number two because I want to see Sunderland, I can actually save this as a view and then get to this quickly. So if I go to the view tab and then you've got um, the option to custom view, click on that and then you click add. So I'll call this first one the Sunderland. So this is basically going to show me the Sunderland data. Click OK to that. And then if I open that up by clicking on number three, so it's all opened up. So I manually go down and collapse the Sunderland groups out of the way. So I'm just looking at Newcastle. I can then save another custom view, calling it Newcastle. Add Newcastle. And then click OK. Now I've got two views. So if I open this up, three. So it's all expanded, everything's expanded. I can go on to custom views and say click on Sunderland and then show. So it collapses the Newcastle out of the way and just shows me the details for Sunderland. I can then do the opposite, go back up to custom views and click on Newcastle and show. And then it will show me Newcastle and collapse Sunderland out of the way. Now, obviously, this is um, not a very big spreadsheet, but you could obviously think of this as a lot bigger, a lot deeper than this. And you can just create views going down for whichever city you want to look at. And you'll just see that information. 
So creating views is a really cool feature when you've got lots of data and you just want to look at a small uh, section of it at any one time. And it works in conjunction. If you see the little lines along the top there, it works in conjunction with this group and outline that I'm using now. You can also use group and outline to group the columns. So at the moment, I haven't done that. And what you're going to get when you group columns is a set of numbers in the top left corner of your screen. So if I do it for, let's see, you don't want um, these two columns. You want to hide these two columns out of the way or collapse them out of the way and go to data and select group again. Group. So you get the numbers now coming up there. If I click on the minus on that one, that will just hide these out of the way. That's all it's doing there. Again, you can create a view on that. If you click on number one and number one, it's now collapsed everything down to that. So you're looking at each location and the total for each location. And because you've got that one collapsed as well, you're not seeing this extra bit. So I could create a view for that and I will do. So go back up to view, custom view and add. And I'll call this totals, for example. So this will give me the totals per city. And then if I open this up, two, three, and then go to custom views and click on totals, show, shows me that. If I go to custom view and click on Newcastle and show, it shows me that. And what I could have done on Newcastle, which I didn't do on these views, instead of having it like that, I could, that is Newcastle, but I can still see all of this there. So I could have um, collapsed that down. And let's see what that looks like. So I've just got Sunderland there with the total. Uh, I could create another, another group which would hide that all together. But rather than having it expanded, I could have done it like that. And you could just see the actual city and then the next city and so on and so on. And the next city and so on and so on if you had more. But that's, that's okay. It works all right for me. I click on two again. I click on three again to bring that back up. Everything's opened up. And that's basically how group and outline works and how you can utilize the views feature to quickly get to a particular view rather than clicking on all these minuses, these minuses or these numbers, which will get you there in the end, but could take a bit longer. You're just preempting that by creating custom views. So that's all I want to talk about in this little video, how to use the group and outline feature and how to create custom views so you can quickly get to relevant parts of a spreadsheet in seconds. So hopefully this video is of use. Thank you for your time and I'll catch you on the next one.